Well, uh, it, if I was approaching a, a, a veteran that came out of service that's been in combat, uh, I would relate to him what we do here for the community and for our fellow veterans that's, that's, that's been over there and came back. We've helped several veterans here get on their feet. And uh, um, again, uh, this post is dedicated here to for community service and help the veterans in uh, a lot of posts. It's not that big anymore and they don't really get into it like we do. We're dedicated to do that and uh, we're going to do it. And uh, it's just, and again, uh, to talk to a, a prospective member the VFW and all of the organizations, veterans organizations, are the only ones that, that's trying to keep your benefits, you know, your rightful benefits from the government. And they're up there in Washington all the time lobbying for us. And, uh, and we, we appreciate that. Yes, sir. Uh, not only uh, is the VFW the first to lobby for us in our benefits, I mean, uh, they have helped uh, the Vietnam veterans. They was the first to recognize the Vietnam veterans after they came back. And they've done a lot of work in helping us get our better rightful benefits and it's a continuous daily fight for the VFW and I use the word fight loosely. Uh, they generate a lot of education out here to bring the new people in. The reason we would like to have them in our post is because I feel as though we're very community and family oriented. Most, most VFWs you go to are uh, the same way but at the same time there is that certain amount of uh, military presence still in effect and I like to feel so this post is warm and friendly and I think that's the way it should be. We are a family. We're an elite family as Calvin said. I mean you have to actually serve in combat in order to be here. <laughs>